Good day, good day, good day, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Just in case you're joining me for the very first time, I am your host, The Real Brian Glaze Gibbs. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share. Shout out to all 9,500 plus subscribers on The Real Brian Glaze Gibbs YouTube channel. Like I told you, I truly, truly appreciate it. This is my ministry. I'm gonna talk about the good. I'm gonna talk about the bad. I'm gonna talk about the ugly. Hey, listen, you see it all over the news. Even right now, I just got finished interviewing Tupac Cousin. Shout out to my man, William. Hey, King William. And what you look at, all of a sudden now, look what happened. They raided. They served a warrant. You know what I'm saying? At this gentleman half, Keefe D. And to me right now was, why all of a sudden, 27 years later, that they serving a warrant to search this man's house? What is the newly discovered evidence? And to me, I'm just as confused, just as in awe, you know what I'm saying, like anybody else. And the only thing you can do is wait and see, you know what I'm saying, how this played out. Are they going to get a conviction or not? Or just this another smoke screen? But like I tell you right now, was listen, folks, to me, check this out. It's like, I'm like everybody else like you. I'm waiting to see exactly what's going to happen. But once again, here it is. We can't judge. Cause we don't have all the evidence that's the job for the district attorney that's the job for the 12 jurors if they get to that part it don't take much from my understanding to get indicted at a grand jury but when you got to prove a case in a court of law it take a lot like i say listen in let me see what you decide and let's go from there Home searched in connection to the Tupac Shakur murder investigation nearly 27 years after his death. Thanks for joining us here at 6. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. Metro Police confirming they searched a home as part of their ongoing work to solve who killed the rapper and hip-hop icon. A News Now investigator David Charns breaking this story. David, what are you learning tonight? Brian, Denise, sources telling the A News Now investigators this search involves Dwayne Davis, also known as Keith D., Davis speaking publicly about the night Tupac died in videos on YouTube and in a book. It's a murder that shocked the world of music. 25-year-old Tupac Shakur shot four times inside this BMW in this intersection near the Las Vegas Strip in September 1996. He would die from his injuries six days later. A News Now investigator Vanessa Murphy speaking exclusively with paramedics in 2016. We brought the gurney okay. up. Over. Just pulled him out. Mm -hmm. Pulled him out. Um... And that's when, you know, that's when I, everybody was yelling, um, Tupac, Tupac. Over the last 27 years, Metro Police have made no arrests, suspecting a rival gang targeted the rapper after a Mike Tyson fight. Someone in another car shot Shakur. The question, after all these years remaining, who was it? Sources telling the ADU Zell investigators Tuesday the Warren served at a home in Henderson Monday involves 60-year-old Dwayne Davis, also known as Keith D. He's made several public statements about a possible shooter. Sources say detectives may have been looking for writings or documents connected to a book Davis recently published. People at the home declined to comment Tuesday, warning things could escalate should we stay outside or record them. Right now, nobody is in custody, and a quarter century later, police have never filed charges in this case, a case Metro says it is determined to solve. I'm David Charns, 8 News Now. Our CBS affiliate in Los Angeles reporting Davis is on tape confessing to being in the car with the shooter. Nevada does not have a statute of limitations in murder cases. Hey, look at that, man. Look at that. Here it is right now, is as you know. There's no statute of limitation on murders. I don't care where at in the United States and probably other country. But once again, when you look at it, why all of a sudden we talking about right now is almost 27 years later. What is the newly discovered evidence? OK, that's the million dollar question. When you sit back and you look at it and you analyze it, okay, here it is. They saying they going after what? Keefe D. He been talking about this for a while. So once again, if he didn't pull the trigger, he was dead. So right now is, even though, from my understanding, he's saying that his cousin, his no, he's saying that 
his nephew was the one that actually pulled the trigger, was the one that actually killed Tupac. So once again, he didn't do it. But then again, are they trying to build a case that he's accessory, that he was there, that he could have prevented? And a lot of times right now is, you know, go back and think about it. You go back to that fight scene and you go back to the situation whereas when they at the casino and you watching Tupac and everybody else, you know what I'm saying right now, fight and attacking him. So to me, once a person got attacked, you upset, you just got jumped, you just got beat down. So automatically, regardless of what, when you emotionally upset, you highly upset, who going to stop you from doing what you want to do? So that's what I'm looking at, regardless. Despite right now is Keefe D is his uncle. You know, here it is, his nephew just took a beat down. So regardless, even if Keefe D looks, it's not worth it, leave it alone, put it to the side. How can he stop that man? So like I told you, I'm like everybody else. I'm kind of confused and I'm kind of waiting to see what's gonna happen because why would they search like I said right now, I serve a warrant. You know what I'm saying? To search this man's house 27 years after the fact. What is the newly discovered evidence? And to me, like I told you right now, is this going to be, I'm just confused. Because if they didn't have enough for him, then what do they have for something with him now? Unless it's a witness that was there. If, unless it was a witness that was part of the event that was in the car is saying otherwise. Other than that, what case do they really have? Hey, listen, hit the like button, subscribe, share, support. The real Brian Glaze gives.